Hello, this is Breck Baldwin from the Brooklyn Aerodrome. Um, this is a video about uh, the crystal towel. You can actually see it on the cover of the book right here, um, what it looks like lit. And, uh, and here it is in the book itself. And um, what we're going to do is just sort of discuss the design a little more closely and make it clear um, if you want to build one of these, sort of what the considerations are. All right. So um, first off, here is the crystal towel unlit. Um, it is uh, basically the same size and shape as the, the rest, of, rest of our airplanes. Um, this is uh, it's called the crystal towel because we called these airplanes towels before they were called flax. And crystal flax doesn't sound very good. So anyway, so this is the crystal towel. And uh, it is made out of six millimeter uh, polycarbonate greenhouse roofing. And let me just show you the effect. Which I think it's pretty freaking awesome. There we go. So that is a lit crystal towel. And this thing is amazing looking in the air. It's, uh, um, it just has, uh, just kind of like, whoa, what is that? Uh, it looks very engineered, so it's obviously not a UFO or some alien spore like the LY airplanes, but it is uh, a really a, a cool effect up in the air. It's also very hard to fly for, for this reason. Um, please do read um, the book about the difficulties of flying these two airplanes because there's a Necker cube effect that makes it feel like it looks like it might be flying away from you or towards you, um, which can be quite confusing. All right, so details. Um, I'll leave it lit just to have a little extra light, a uh, little light in the picture. So this is the big A123 cells that I used to fly this airplane, actually. Um, it's so tail heavy that I could have the budget of having these big cells up front. Um, I've pulled all the radio gear off. The servos are still on there. But um, basically, uh, it's a, uh, <coughs> the relevant dimensions are um, the uh, polycarbonate is, uh, reflects the light best. Um, if that light, if the if the LEDs come in from the from um, perpendicularly, and this LED stripping, <coughs> you can get it from um, uh, China for very little money at this point, um, and it wants uh, basically around a 12 volt supply. So this is um, providing this battery pack is providing that directly connected through this uh, the, the connector here, and then I run the power to the L wire through. Um, what is uh, um, um, stained glass uh, edging um, tape. It's copper tape that takes solder super well and it's sticky on one side. And you can see up close here, I mean, this is a good spot right here, where how I've done it. There's a little connector on there and I can disconnect it. It's a little janky, be careful, but there you go. That's it. It's just a little two pole, little two connector like that. Cause you want to be able to take these, these uh, stabilizers off. Um, and then um, the other thing is these servos are way underpowered for this airplane. Um, they, they, I need bigger, I really should have much bigger servos, beefier servos, uh, at least twice the torque of these um, to run this airplane because it's heavier, it's faster, um, and I don't want to ever lose control of the airplane because the servos are overpowered. Um, so I would want something that these are apparently, uh, they'll pull about a pound. Um, you need something twice as powerful at least. All right, and preferably with metal. Um, the, uh, what else is remarkable about this plane? Um, note that it's cut down the middle. So that is so that I could have this perpendicular effect on both edges. And then I've added a little bit of spar here to kind of keep it all together using zip ties, um, to drive the show. Um, the, uh, <coughs> uh little trick, one little tricky bit is, um, trying to get the solder joint right. <coughs> Hard. Um. The, because these L-bonds are going to move, and you don't want, the, the tape will not tolerate that, all right? And I've taped the tape on just with clear tape. I've left the backing on there. It's a sticky backing, but we can't use that side. And, um, you know, that's about it. Um, the uh, Occasionally, you get a little missing tooth effect. One of these LEDs will go out. You might be able to repair that. I haven't bothered. This whole thing needs to be repaired. It's been crashed a few times, as you can see. I'll probably, if I redo this one, I'll, I'll round this out or make it square or something. Um, the, uh, what else is worthy of mention in this design? Um, you need a bigger motor. This thing weighs about two and a half, about a kilo, two and a half pounds, um, 2.2 pounds. Um, and, uh, you need a bigger motor. You're going to need a bigger speed controller to drive, drive the bigger motor. Um, it's just a bigger, heavier airplane. It is super dangerous to fly around people. Um, if this hits somebody, this greenhouse roofing is so stiff, it'll cut them in half. 
seriously take great care um, flying this around people um, or anything that can be damaged by it. Um, airplane flies fine, but it's just the controllability issues are more about your ability to perceive. If you can get an automatic stabilization system on there, please do. Um, that's really what I recommend. It's the most relaxing way to fly it. <clears throat> um, last point, uh, the Elvon control horns. Now, I just made them out of polycarbonate and, uh, and with uh, doubled up credit cards as, as uh, uh, control horns. Um, probably you could do it the old style way, just like we do on the regular uh, flak, um, and that would work fine. Um, this is back in the day before I used uh, coat hangers, and these are bamboo skewers with, um, uh, that I used as push rods uh, in the early designs. Um, but you can, I think this would translate cleanly to the current approach of um, just putting holes through the edge here and using a coat hanger, and I think you'd be fine. Um, I would not put a lot of kinks in the coat hanger, um, just a little bit maybe, uh, just because I'd be worried about a flutter and things like this. This airplane flies faster, it's heavier, just a bigger piece of uh, airplane in the sky, um, and uh, you have to be very careful about it. Do not be a beginner and build this airplane. Thank you.